Good morning, afternoon, good day. I'm Rick Mendenhall from TNK Tackle. I want to show you some of the secret ingredients that many people like to use when they're making their kokanee and trout corn. I'm looking at today, looking at some of this OptiFiber, because sometimes fish need a little bit of fiber. Yep, that's good stuff there to use that. I got this Arizona, some secret, secret, Arizona Gunslinger hot sauce. Man, this just turns them on. They get hot on the bite when they see this stuff. They smell, woo-wee! And you know what? Everybody needs a little bit of garlic. It's a good idea. Garlic is great. I love the taste of garlic. Mm, mm. I like garlic. And for the really spicy type stuff too, we got a little bit of the powdered chipotle chili. Chipotle. To say it again, chipotle. Chipotle. Ch chipotle on my hook. I tell you what. You know, and some basil. Basil. No, honey. Basil. Some basil. I mean basil. basil. This is basil. great stuff. People like put this on there and they mix it all up and it sticks on to everything and it makes things smell like a like a... Italian sauce or something like some spaghetti sauce or something. And classic, black pepper. Not the white pepper, the black one. And this is fine ground, so it's really small and it sticks to everything. Get in your eye, it burns a little bit probably. And last but not least, of course, you need to have your shoe pig corn. Here it is, green giant shoe pig corn. And I'm using a little bit of the chicken. It says chicken to see, but uh, you know, it could be chicken. No, it's not chicken. It could be of the sea. It could be a sea chicken. I don't know. But I think it might be tuna fish. It says chunks. It chunky it light tuna in oil. See, it says in oil. Yep. It got to use it in oil stuff. So I'm going to forego all the fancy stuff that everybody else does. I've caught 80,000 plus fish all the years I've been fishing on tuna with oil and some soup pig corn. So I'm going to take that show pig corn. I'm going to go real quickly and I'm going to pour this water out of it. All right. It's been dewatertized mostly. I'm going to throw it in my bowl. Like that. Mmm, it tastes pretty good. It's pretty sweet actually. Mmm. It's even better when I put the tuna in there. I'm going to take my tuna in oil. So I'm going to squeeze it in here. All that oil. Get in there, oil. Yeah. Oh, a little bit of fatty tuna in there. There we go. Splash, splash, splash. Get in there. Oh, it's flying everywhere. Woo! There we go. I'll eat this tuna later. Maybe tuna salad or something. I'm going to stir that right up there. Tell you what. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Make it this way. You can't go wrong. Forgo all this other flavoring, fancy stuff, and coloring. You don't need it. Basics. It's all you need. Until next time, we'll see you on the water.